off with the colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay I'm at Target to make a decision i didn't know i was looking for this until i found it and that's hawaii target's wonderful <laughs> i have been trying to find shoe storage better shoe storage for our front entryway it's cleaned up more so now let me show you something i saw on um kk and baby j they had bins like this that they got through from anthropology I can't afford anthropology. So I looked online and they were like still kind of expensive. They might work, but they were so expensive. This one's 20 bucks. Let me show you something else. That one is like wood, unfinished. It might be kind of look cool. Then I found this. This is very similar to the one that, that um, Karen and Kwa have. Um, and, Cause it's like all together as one piece. So this is like 24 inches long. And it's two kiwis, but it's 40 bucks. But I would need to get all three that they have in stock. Because Jason doesn't need one bin section. Because he has his basket. Hang on. Just standing here in the aisle. <laughs> talking to myself. They would need to stack on top of each other. Right now we have a bench that is useless. For, except for one person who usually sits down to put her shoes on. But maybe I get a chair for her when she comes over. <laughs> but Jason doesn't need a bin section because he has his basket. But Kaylee and Abby could use two bins because they actually have a lot of shoes. So then Chelsea and Ashley only need one because they all only wear Crocs and one pair of tennis shoes. They will bring their PE tennis shoes home. Chelsea will in like two weeks so I think we have a project for myself today because I was kind of bored it's actually been a really eventful morning I'll get to that here in a second I need a cart now let's go get a cart I can get it want to be the person that you call up when you're down want to be the first who knows all of your deepest secrets can I be the one who wakes you up before you miss the door right Cause I wanna be close to you And I wanna show you something new You gotta know Every day I got your back Yeah, you can count on me for that What I came for was one of these bad guys I've seen that people take these And they put their trash bags in them So I've seen people use these they take the trash bags out of the box that they come in from Costco and they put them in here and then they pull up one bag out of the hole here or hole here and then you just pull it out and then you can like stack it and put other stuff into another one. So I might, do I get one? Do I get two? I can't decide. They're only six dollars. I'm just going to get one for now. I can't think of another thing that I could put inside it on top. I don't know. What I came for that I knew they would have was mouthwash <laughs> for all three bathrooms. So put your hand in mine, I will be there every day. When you're sick of the climb, I will make sure it's okay. I know you didn't mess for anybody. All right, it's hot, so I have to have the air on. Hopefully it's not too loud for you guys. But it is warming up today. I don't know what temperature is. 70? We haven't had said it 70s for a few days, so it's kind of nice. So, um, this morning I went and donated blood. That went well, except that I was like 0.5 um, away from um, my iron count being the right number. Um, the first time they pricked me, so then we pricked again <laughs> with another finger. And I rubbed my fingers and I got fresh blood to my fingers and my numbers were perfectly fine. So I donated blood, we hit the valve again, my arm started to flutter, his hand started to flutter, and he's like, let's, let's, because I had told him, he's like, are you a flast? 
fast donor or a slow donor and I was like well if you don't hit the valve it'll be fine <laughs> so he did hit the valve it's just a, a spoof so then it was kind of a slow drip and he tried to like move it and then it got working fine and we finished time then on my way home from that because it just happened to be at my church I knew I was in the area for the dollar store I'll show you really quick what I got but something happened on my way in so they have a golly you guys, these are 20, oh, I don't know about this this kind that I got, but they're normally, Golly brand is like 15 to $20 a bottle. Like this size at Target is normally $20. I went looking for the apple cider vinegar gummies. They didn't have those ones yet, but I did find these Energy Bites. Um, I've noticed that Kaylee and Jason tend to grab like a five hour energy drink. Jason actually took one at the end of his day one day at work he was literally like, if that was on a Saturday, I didn't, we didn't, we must have filmed, but we don't film during our game night. You guys, he wouldn't stop talking. Da -da 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 he was on one and everyone's like, Jason, what is wrong with you tonight? He was funny. He was energetic. He was having a great time. We're like, what is going on with you? And he was like, oh, I took a five hour energy drink at about, I don't know, like five, five thirty. And we're like, oh my gosh. So I got these for him instead. I'm um, a little bit of a tamed dose of caffeine. He doesn't drink caffeine. Um, so I just got him those. And then I found emergency gummies. You guys, again, I don't know how much these are at Target. I should have actually priced them. But they're $1.25. So I think I got two of these guys. Yeah, I did. I got two of the emergency gummies. Kaylee has a cold coming on, not COVID. She's already tested. And then I also found these Golly Super Green gummies. Guys, how cool is that? So I ended up getting one, two, you're sitting on one, three, four of those, and then a few of these caffeine um, chocolate bites. So I thought that would be kind of, I mean, that was like 12 bucks, and I, that was like less than the cost of one golly bottle. So I'm excited, definitely use these. Kaylee seems to be kind of getting colds a lot more often. I'm not really sure why. Um, and then Jason's always worried about getting a cold <laughs> so I'm just gonna have him and me and whoever else wants to um, start taking some emergency and I'm gonna be taking the, the greens um, Jason probably will want to because we're both trying to improve our health but on our way in well, on my way into the dollar store I noticed that there was a lady she was in her 70s walking into the store I know her from church she just hasn't been actively coming to church because she needs to work and they need her to work at the dollar store on Sundays. And she's so sweet, um, but she's already battled cancer like two or three times. Like she's just had the gamut of health issues. So, I, like I said, she's in her 70s and she was really walking slow from her car to the door and I knew she was coming to work. And I said hi to her. I turned around to kind of hold the door open for her and I said, hi Vicki, how you doing? And she said, oh honey, I'm not good, I'm not good. Come and get me, come and get me. And I ran over to her and I grabbed her arm and I was like, what's wrong, Vicki? And she was like, I need to get down, I need to get down. Uh, and I said, you need to sit down? And she said, yes. And so I went and sat her down. Luckily there was a little, um, little table set up right out in front of the dollar store. And I sat her down and she all of a sudden said, call 911, call 911. And I was like, what's wrong? And she's like, I have shooting pain from the middle of my back all the way down my leg and I can't walk on it and then oh my gosh she was in so much pain I could see like her little teeny hands they're like white knuckles she was gripping she was like her jaw was clenched she was in so much pain so I called 911 um, and they were there I'm not even kidding you within a minute and 30 seconds they must have been right around the corner um, the fire department to be fair is right around the corner so they must have been close to um, the fire department waiting so they came and, and they took her off to the hospital, but she just kept saying, go tell my boss, I'm sorry I can't come to work today. I shouldn't have even come. And I was like, Vicki, if you hadn't come to work today, you would have been at home alone. And, I, and you might not have been near your phone. You might have had it across the room and you fell going to the bathroom. Like, I'm glad you came to work today and don't worry about your job. Everyone loves you here. Like, you're not gonna lose your job because you got sick and had to go to the hospital. So I hope she's okay. Um, I might reach out to a few church members and let them know that she's up at the hospital. Um, but when I when the 
I was on 911 and and they asked her name and I said, you know, what her name was. And she kind of looked up at me and I was like, Vicki, I know you from church, remember? And she was like, oh, you are a sweetheart. I've always known you're a sweetheart. <laughs> so cute. So it's been kind of an eventful morning and now I have a project on my hands. Now I have shoes to go and sort through, which is a great thing. I've wanted to do this for a long time. I've wanted to sort through, declutter, donate, get rid of stuff. I have a whole bin full of flip-flops that just no one wears anymore. We used to get them for Hawaii and, and summertime and no one wears them anymore. They wear their um, Crocs or their Birkenstocks. Um, we've just advanced into new shoes. So, I'm gonna go get myself a little cold beverage um, and then I'm gonna head home and I will show you the mess of our shoes and it's just gonna get worse. Like I've known if this is bad with the kids in school full time, if this is gonna be horrendous in the summertime. Because my kids don't just wear sandals during the summer. Especially Kaylee and Abby. They wear full on tennis shoes and they have like four pairs of Nikes that they still like filter through and, and Converse high tops and low tops and slides and I'm like they have so many shoes and we have, we're bursting at the seams. So, I mean, you would think that we would have more of the kids' shoes from our shoe store, but no. Because they like name brands that we don't carry. So, we're gonna go home and figure all of this out. And then see if anyone notices. But that's gonna be the trick. See if anyone notices. Ashley used to have her job of putting all the shoes away and then mopping that front area on Saturdays. And she got really sick of cleaning up after everyone. And so I took her off of that job and I'm like, now I'm stuck with it. And I've been so annoyed with it because there's no place to put the shoes. There's literally not anywhere else that we can put them that makes sense because they they go through so many pairs of shoes every single day and then there's nowhere to put them. So we gotta go figure it out. And I mentioned it's only noon. <laughs> All of that has happened and it's only noon. So I wanna have plenty of time, but also like, holy crap. First up here at home, dead flowers I don't know they're not I've heard a trick where you can put hydrangeas in a bowl of water I might actually look that up and do that they just all of a sudden wilted I think it ran out of water there's water in there now though and it has been for like 24 hours I mean they were like you saw it like just the other day and now they're like wilted so I don't know what's wrong with them but we're gonna work on this little project first because it's easier <laughs> let me open this box of um, bags and yes, Jason will say, oh, I'm so glad you spent money on moving them from one storage container to another. <laughs> yes, he will make fun, but that's okay, because this one looks cuter. All right, so I'm gonna pull that out, and then you can pull, actually, I should probably turn it. It's not spinning. Probably need to turn it like that, and then stuck it through the hole, and then you pull on it, and the bag comes out. And you put the lid on top, and it's all good. Put that out in the garage. Get rid of the ugly box. Next up is the shoe situation. Now, I'm not kidding you. This is half of the shoes that used to be out. I did have the girls put some of their shoes away, but I guarantee you, they'll be right back out here on the floor, like within a day or two, <laughs> because it's not gonna stay this way. And this is why I'm just frustrated. These two bins are probably filled with shoes that we need to donate. That's Jason's bucket right there. Um, I need to measure this little bench system because I think what I'm gonna do, bummer, I think it's not gonna fit here. I was gonna put it right here, but this is gonna be in the way of it, huh? But I could put it there. All these pots, I should just go get some um, flowers and fill them, hmm. I could put the bench here, because then I could put like chalk and like yard stuff in it. We'll see if we get around to that. But my first task is to grab a trash bag, ha, know where they are, and start to sort and declutter shoes. In fact, I had two pairs of shoes over here that I was gonna donate. I had already kind of started this process because this was driving me insane. Also, do you have children who beg you and beg you and beg you to get things for Christmas and then absolutely never wear them? Hmm. Maybe I'm the only mom because 
she made a stink at Target wanting to get those before Christmas. And I said, no, put them on your list. So glad she put them on the list. Then these are all the flip flops. We actually bought these for Ashley. I will keep those. Um, when we didn't know if we were gonna find the Crocs and her sandals, her yellow ones, I think we've even donated them already. Um, we knew that they didn't fit. So this is all flip flops and sandals that they either don't wear or don't fit. I will sort through that whole bucket there, sort through all of these. All the yellow ones are right here. See, these don't fit. So it's just, <laughs> they don't fit, they, they don't wear those. They don't fit, I don't think these ones fit anymore. Don't fit, don't fit. None, I'll, uh, none of these. And these ones are perfectly fine. I swear, none of these. All that's donate. All that's donate. These are Jason's. Make sure we don't donate his shoes. I could care less about his shoes, honestly. He's never gonna organize them. He's never gonna have them look pretty. <laughs> I gave up trying to organize his stuff. Like, the whole house, I gave up. Okay, so here is a before. And I will take you on the process, but I just wanted to get a before. All right, I've got little piles. Kaylee, Abby, Chelsea. Um, this is actually garbage. These ones are all garbage because there's only one pair. And Ashley's, I don't know where, she only had the flip flops out because she's wearing her tennis shoes. I don't know where her pink Crocs are. But look how many we have to donate. All of these are donate. And that is empty. So I'm gonna move that. Maybe I'll just donate it because I don't know where I'm gonna put it. All right, I have all the fans on now because it's nice and hot in here. I have swept, mopped, this area, as you saw outside, I had to sweep and clean up the outside area and put the bench out there. I'm leaving the shoes here. And now I'm going to put these together. I'm really hoping they're easy because <laughs> I have three sets to put together. Maybe I'll just turn on a movie, a movie, a show, YouTube or something. I'll just turn something on and put these together. Okay, not gonna lie. This one <laughs> took way longer than I wanted it to. And I'm annoyed because now I have two more to do. I have to hook this little back thing on and I couldn't find a hammer because, you know, whatever. So now I have a hammer. Got to hammer in 20 different little nails to this stupid thing and then work on two more. Maybe Abby will help me when she gets home from school. Okay, here's the first one. <laughs> it is a lot smaller than the bench. Um, but I am going to go three high, and I think you put little stickers to cover those, but I won't worry about that until I get to the third one. And yes, I think a certain someone needs to declutter his shoes and see if he can get rid of some, because <laughs> that's a little bit ridiculous. But at least it clears the space here for the door, and it's a lot less cluttered all the way around here. I could even maybe put a little plant right here, a little fake what are they, fiddle fig tree or fiddle? I don't even know what, know what they're called. But I wouldn't get a real one because I'm not good at keeping them alive. But it would be kind of cute to put something right there um, because this is gonna have height to it right here. And then on the top of the top one, I could even like put some decor on it to like kind of make it look a little bit nicer. But I'm really bothered that I had to put two more together. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Maybe the other ones are gonna go faster. I ended up putting on one part upside down. So that was kind of annoying. And I also fell down the stairs in the garage, going out to find the hammer that was not in the garage, ultimately. So here's, oh crap, here's number two. Okay. <laughs> that took way too many YouTube videos and Netflix documentaries, and now I'm watching Missing on Netflix. Given I stopped for lunch, stopped for a snack, not one after another, there was like an hour gap. Um, I kind of hung out, <laughs> got sick of <coughs> screwing, screwing, screwing. But it's all done. I want to decorate the top of it now, but here it is. It's all done and there is so much room in each cubicle. Chelsea has so many shoes in there, including those big boots. She really only wears these ones and her other Crocs. I need to try and convince her to like wear these ones, at least to church, instead of her Crocs. 
Um, I have these two in here, but I can put my flip flops in here um, when I'm not wearing them, but I'm gonna put them on right now. Ashley has the least amount of shoes. She's wearing her tennis shoes, and then she has her Crocs and those, and I wanna try have her try on these sandals. Probably got these for Chelsea a couple years ago. Again, Keen, that one came from our shoe store. Um, probably ordered it online for her through our account, and no one has worn them. They're really cute, and they're probably her size, or will be soon. So that is her bucket, and then this row, like I said, that one is Chelsea's, and then this is Abby's. Kaylee does have two buckets down there on the bottom. Um, she might be able to consolidate if Abby wants to put more of hers in here. Abby does have a few more in the closet. And Jacob gave me the good idea to make a bucket just for him or for guests. That way we don't have shoes out here on the floor. These shoes do not fit Abby anymore, but Birkenstocks are hard pass down shoes because most of the time your footprint has been imprinted in the leather. <laughs> so it's really hard to like pass down those shoes to another person. So we shall see if someone else uses those or I don't know. I mean, I'll donate them. Someone else might, might be willing to wear them, but, um, Hey Kaylee, can you tell Abby to come and unload? Oh my gosh. The recycling is like, no one wants to like take it out. Anyway, I feel accomplished with what we got done. Abby was very excited about these gummies and she her and I tried this one. They tasted pretty good, but I am not willing to try one of these because I probably will be up all night. If I need them because I don't sleep well and I have a full day, I might try one, but sorry about that, my battery died. I am taking Ashley for a play date at her friend's house. <laughs> yes, we're going, we're going. I, I didn't tell you I was coming. All right. Kay. Took Ashley to her friend's house, and apparently, according to uh, Better Homes and Gardens, you take your hydrangeas and soak them in water. Actually, I need to cut the ends off, open up the stem to new water. I'm also gonna pluck off some of the leaves. So you put them in cold water. Don't want them to, okay. They're all gonna soak in this water for three hours. So I took out all the dishes that were in here and add a little bit more water. I mean, they're dead if they're dead. So this can't, you know, I can't ruin this. So we're gonna see if this works. All right, while um, my little flowers are doing their little bath in there, um, I'm trying to watch a movie on Netflix called Missing. And I keep getting interrupted, but I'm gonna make some um, little grilled chicken tenders and some rice. Jason's almost home. I think he's stuck in traffic. Um, and we also have some gravy left over from like Hawaiian and rice, well, Hawaiian rice or whatever. So I'm going to, it's kind of a makeshift meal. Um, Kaylee and her friends just left, right Kaylee, Kaylee? I believe they just left. Um, Chelsea's up in her room. Ashley is at her play date. Abby is here too. She's just hanging out upstairs. I need to like, I don't know how to get them to stay underwater. It's like they just have to soak. Can you even see that? They have to like get submerged in the water. I don't know. We'll see if this works. Better Homes and Gardens said to do so. We'll see. Also, I didn't tell Jason what I did with the shoes. He's also gonna kinda panic that we're throwing away that many shoes. <laughs> it's okay though, it's okay. But I do kinda keep coming over here and looking at this and enjoying the cleanliness and the organization of it. But I am definitely going to put something on top. Maybe I should just go ahead and do 4th of July stuff. I usually wait till June, which is in about a week um, mid June to do 4th of July stuff, but maybe I should just get it out and start putting it up. I will get the stickers out and put them over the little, um, screws or whatever, take off the sticker and just kind of make it more appealing 
to see when you come into the house, but I'm definitely gonna decorate the top. I think a cute little, either like a big basket tray. Do I have one? Like, um, ooh, what about like this? This is kind of cute. I have this over here in the corner. This is kind of cute, because I like trays. They kind of make a place to put things. It's a little big, but it also like, I don't know, it kind of helps change the look of it a little bit. Maybe that's too big. I'm gonna leave it there for now, but then I could do a cute little like tablescape type thing in this. It's super dusty, so I need to wipe it off. But anyway, I just wanna like make it look a little cuter. I could also just put a, like a table runner over the top and then do my own little tablescape something or other there. Chelsea too often, so we can witness that she is in fact doing her chores. And I will end my night with these back in water. We took them out so that we could finish dishes and Chelsea could uh, do the counters, correct? And we noticed that the middle of this um, bunch is doing better. Come and get them, I have my hands full, clearly. So, they're gonna go back in the water overnight. They have been in the water for three hours. But see, these ones are still limp. And again, if they don't come back, then they don't come back. But we're gonna trust this process. Where so, did you see it? Yep. Good night, folks. Easy, easy on our tiptoe.